Tyler Childers is going to be played in standard tuning. The recorded version of this song is two guitars playing, both capoed in different places. Um, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to play both of the guitar parts and then give you a little bit of idea of maybe how to approach a solo. Um, one guitar is going to be capoed on the third fret and is coming out of D minor formation. Let me go ahead and address the strumming uh, for this song. The strumming is the same for both parts. Down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. So that's the strumming pattern at times, like a down, down, up, down, 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 up, down. And sometimes it will be a down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, down, up, down, up. And whenever I say sometimes it's one or sometimes the other, there's no real distinct time that it that it switches from one to the other. It's just that the, the fluid nature of the right hand is doing either one or the other pretty much every time it's striking the string. So either down, down, up, down, 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 up, down, or down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. All right, first chord, the D minor, capo on the third fret. Open four string. I use my second finger on the three string two fret relative to the capo. I'm speaking of the capo as though it's the nut. So second finger on the three string two fret. I put my pinky finger on the two string three fret and my first finger on the one string one fret. And I'm strumming from the open four string down. Second chord will be an F chord. I move with my ring finger to the four string three fret. My second finger to the three string two fret. My first finger to the two string one fret. And I'm really just strumming strings four, three, and two there. Now in this F chord, feel free to do hammer-ons with your second finger and pull-offs, exposing the three string and then hammering down into the three string two fret. Uh, then it moves from that F chord to a C chord, so leave your first finger where it is on the two string one fret and shift your ring and second fingers down one set of strings. So now your ring finger's on the five string three fret and your second finger's on the four string two fret with an open three string in the middle. And then it will go down to a G chord. The G chord is gonna be ring finger on the six string three fret, second finger on the five string two fret, open four, open three, open two, and pinky finger pulled back to the one string three fret. Now in this G chord, it shifts from a G major to in the back half, a G, uh, a G7, like a G dominant seven. And the way that Tyler Childers, I suspect, shifts his fingers for this chord. Is that he moves his pinky finger to the two string three fret and his first finger to the one string one fret. So you've got your G chord. So I'm going down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, and then I'm lifting my pinky finger and strumming up. So you hear the open one and two strings. And then I'm hammering on simultaneously with my pinky and first fingers to the pinky going to the two string three fret and first finger going to the one string one fret. And then I'm strumming down again with my pick. So in this G chord in the intro and in the chorus, the G chord holds for like two counts. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. So really, I guess that's four counts. Um, in the verses, though, it's just for a standard two count. So a verse would be D minor to the F to the C to the G chord, switch seven, then back to D minor, to the F, to the C, to the G, switch to the 7, as opposed to in the intro and the chorus where the G will get hold, held for twice as long, like D or D minor, to the F, to the C, to the G, to the G, switch to the 7, repeat. 
keep this other back to the D minor. Alright, so that's one guitar. You also have a second guitar that is capoed on the first fret and is playing out of an E minor formation. So to play these chords, and this is the guitar that the lead uh, solo comes out of, you'll have an E minor. Strumming pattern is the exact same, so I'm not going to repeat ideas of that, but an E minor, open six string, second finger on the five string two fret, ring finger on the four string two fret, open three, open two, open one. So you're going from the E minor to a G shape chord, the same G shape as before, or just now, you know, on the real four fret of the guitar, to a D shape, D major, this will be an open four string, uh, first finger on the three string two fret, ring finger on the two string three fret, second finger on the one string two fret, then to this chord, it's a version of an A chord. Um, it's an open five string, your second finger on the four string two fret, your ring finger on the three string two fret, and then I can definitely hear the voicing of this chord, the two and one strings ringing out open. So E minor to the G, to the D, to the A. And then for the A chord, it will shift to the seven like our first guitar part up here. And the way that you would shift to the seven is move your ring finger in this A position from the three string two fret to the two string two fret with the open three string in the middle. This guitar is a little bit out of tune, but it's working fine. Um, also in the intro, I can hear this guitar part do something like. So I think it's in the second round of the intro. So what I'm doing there is in this A position where I've got my second ring fingers down, I'm hammering with my pinky finger to the two string two fret to actually complete an A major chord. And then I'm striking that two string two fret again. And then an open one. And then the fretted two string. And then to the fretted three string. And then repeating the hammer with my pinky finger. And I think my pick is falling down also to the four string two fret where my second finger is. So kind of a small thing, but a little bit of nuance that happens there. And that's in the intro, then back into the, uh, the regular chords. So E minor to the G to the D major to the A chord. I'm cutting in right here to mention something that I forgot whenever I just recorded this a second ago, and that is to speak of the chorus. The chorus will be the G chord to the D chord to the A chord. Whenever you're saying Cole. And if we are in our capoed on the third fret guitar, that chorus would be the F chord to the C chord to the G chord. And then the, and then F chord, C chord, G chord. All right, ideas for the solo. Um, you're basically just kind of noodling around in E minor is what you're wanting to do. Uh, but the beginning of it, which to me is the most distinctive part, would be a slide up from the three string two fret to the three string four fret. I'm doing that with my second finger. So strike the three string two fret and slide your second finger up to the three string four fret. And then first finger needs to be down on the two string three fret. And then hit the open one string. And then it just kind of cross picks between, or just kind of rolls between these three strings. for a little bit. And then um, other things that you can hear happening in this solo would be walk-ups from the open five to the five string one fret to the five string two fret, or open four, four string one fret, four string two fret, so that you could get sort of stuff inside of. 
Uh, you could also you could also let your three string be a drone as you just kind of slide around in scale on the four string. And then you could also be hammering with your pinky finger or ring finger in this original shape to the two string five fret and having some play off of the fretted five or the fretted two string five fret and then the open one string which is the same note but that hammer on some pulse right there would sound kind of cool and I know that I can hear Tyler Childers coming back down this three string so if you know as we slid up it for the original I can also hear him hit the four, uh, the three string four fret and slide that second finger back down to the four string two fret and then pulling off to like the three string open. Stuff like that. So uh, I'm not being very articulate in saying exactly what to do because I didn't learn the solo outright. I just kind of know that those are the feels that you need to be um, mindful of if you're trying to execute the solo. And again, to me, it sounds like it's happening on the guitar that is capoed first fret and that it's just coming out of the E minor positions, which really wouldn't be E minor. It would be a real F minor based on where we're capoed. But thinking of the shapes as though this capo is the nut, I'm thinking in terms of E minor. Anyway, those are the chords and the movements to Cole by Tyler Childers. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the lesson.